Still to come, between now and 9.25, a familiar face, but can you guess who that lovely little girl grew up to be? Yes, Nadia Sawal is here to open up her photo album and tell us why her family holidays inspires today's fantastic recipe. And look who's here in our green room. We're going to be talking to the Saturdays in 10 minutes' time. Looking good. Right now, though, it's 9 o'clock. Let's get the news from Randview. Hurrah! Nadia's back with us today with a dish that's inspired by your family. Family well, holidays, isn't it? It is family holidays. Now it's finally sunny. Let's let's talk holiday food. Let's do. Now, as you know very well, my father is Jordanian, yes. and as children, we'd go out to Jordan every summer. And um, this dish, shawarma, which is basically a lamb kebab. Mm. Okay, we would lich. Oh, look at me in my pants there, please, <laughs> mother. Those are the only two photos you could find me. Um, we would literally. L go straight from the airport to the shawarma shop, which mm. is which is like the best street food. Oh, okay. Now I, I, I'm I'm going to start cooking. Should I mean I always talk too yeah. much? So in here I've already grated an onion right. and a tomato. Okay. Now don't ask me, please, about grating because there's going to be people saying, why don't you just put it in the munching machine? But the reason I grate the tomato and onion is because my auntie Jamili always grated the onion and the tomato because it, it just works differently with yeah. the meat. Okay. No, so, so if you can be bothered to do it, do it. If it's not, just it. put it in the zhuzha. Okay. So in there we have some uh, uh, tomato and onion. Right. To it, I'm going to add cinnamon, allspice, cardamom, right. and a little thing here called mystica. Now, mystica. now, or mastique. Now, you won't probably have heard of this, but if you've ever gone to like Greece or Turkey and you've had their ice cream and it's got that kind of strange flavour you can't quite put your finger on, mm. it's because they use this stuff. It's a Middle Eastern and Mediterranean oh, spice. Okay. Now, you can get it from specialist shops, mm. but believe me, if you can't get it, just don't put it in. Right. It's just what I do because it's sure. traditional. Oh, okay. okay. And you, how you grind that up is you put it between two spoons with a bit of sugar and you grind it up. Again, just because Auntie Jamili does, no other reason. Right. So I'm putting all my spices in there. <laughs> okay, so I'm putting... Oh, here we go. I'm putting in some lemon zest. Lovely. Some parsley. Mm-hmm. And some lemon juice. Right. And cider vinegar. Okay. Ooh, lovely flavours. Yeah. Then Gorgeous. into that we put now leg of lamb. So it's quite fancy this dish. Yeah. But you can just use chicken. Okay. Uh, and it's lower calorie, it, it's cheaper, but this is the traditional way right. that we do it with the lamb. So then you just oh have I got a spoon? Yeah. Give it a stir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now leave that for as long as you can, 24 hours, okay. and the meat will be so tender and so tasty. But if you've got 10 minutes, give it 10 minutes. Right. Okay. Whatever suits. So over here, oh, I have nice. one mm -hmm. that has marinated overnight. And then I'll put it in a sieve because you want all that right. juice to come out. Okay. Because otherwise, when we put it on the pan, like so. <laughs> It will steam. Oh, crack, this is going to take me for ages. I'm just going to have to bung it on. <laughs> I can't do it. I mean, this isn't going to be dainty, OK? I'm just going to chuck it on. Bung it on. Uh, bung it on, love. Lovely. Oh, now, let's smell. Th Doesn't this? It smells Already, amazing. Yeah. you are getting the taste, the smell of street food, the smell of summer. Lovely. So we're going to put that on on a nice hot pan yep. so that it doesn't steam. Ah. OK, that's literally going to take seconds. That's brilliant. And, uh, in fact, it was really nice because we went to Jordan this Easter and... Uh, because Mark did an ultra marathon, my fella. Yeah. Did an ultra marathon, and uh, look, we've got a piece of lamb there. That's not very good. Let's put that. <laughs> um, and uh, it was great because we did the same thing with the kids. We went straight oh. from the airport to the shower. Oh, look at me! That's in the desert. <laughs> Because it's a great... I mean, people don't think of Jordan as a holiday destination, it's but it's beautiful. like... It's four hours from here. I know. You've got Petra, the 2,000-year-old city. You've got the yeah. Dead Sea. You've mm -hmm. got the desert where Lawrence Arabia charged across the desert. It's a great place. So that's cooking away. Right. God, I wish I could turn that up a bit. There we go. Yeah. OK, so here I'm going to make a little sauce. All right. Okay. So in here we've got tahini. Again, you can get it from any supermarket. Mm-hmm. Or a special shop. Yeah. And it's what's in hummus. We all eat hummus yeah, all the time. That's all it is. Actually. So hummus is chickpeas, this and garlic. Right. So to that, I'm going to add a little warm water. Now, don't be frightened, because it will look absolutely disgusting in a second. <laughs> but, it <laughs> gets, <laughs> but it gets better. I'm so glad. Oh, no, it's not looking disgusting. You usually, it's not too bad. Oh, no, hang on a minute. It will look disgusting in a second. There we go. Now it's starting to look disgusting. Right. So then we add some lemon. Mm-hmm. 
There we go. Lovely. You don't have to turn that pan up to you, Lorraine. No. <laughs> yeah, I really do. I mean, can really work things. <laughs> Is that not it up? I was hoping cold. it would be sizzling a bit more than that. Well, it's kind of. Okay, can you start turning that over for me? Yeah. You can do that, Liz. Okay. So we're adding some... Oh, look, look, it's gone disgusting. I told you it would. Oh, it but has gone a bit... But what you do food. is, you don't panic, you just no, add but... a bit more water. Right. And we're looking for, like, the consistency of, sort of, double cream. All oh, right, okay. Okay. So, there we go. You add some salt, you can add some garlic. Now, if you want, you could just use mayonnaise and garlic instead. Right. Um, you know, or yoghurt, yeah, yeah, yeah. something yeah. like that. But I like this because, again, it's very traditional. So, there we go. We've got our sauce. This is all working so, really well. Fabulous. We've got our... Warmed bread, you can use pita bread or tortillas. Tortillas are actually easier to wrap. Right, look, that's lovely. Here I've got a lovely carrot salad. Oh, nice. And now we can load up our it's bread. Good, isn't it? OK. So while I do this... Oh, that's gorgeous. Should we have a recap? Yeah, let's have a look at how you did it. It looks amazing. Break the onion and tomato into a bowl with the spices and herbs and mix well before adding the lamb. Leave to marinate for as long as possible. In the meantime, squeeze the lemon into the tahini and add a little warm water to get the required consistency. On a hot griddle, fry the marinated lamb for literally a matter of seconds on each side. Pile the meat onto the pita bread, top the carrot salad and pickles and drizzle with tahini sauce. Now, I tell okay. you what, this looks fabulous. Do you sort of just roll it up? So, roll it and tuck it, Lorraine. It? So, oh, roll it and um, tuck it a bit like that so it sticks. Right. OK. OK. <gasps> That's fantastic. And then we can just cut it like that. Right. Oh, yeah. And there you have your street food. Here, I'll oh, have that one. Yours you. isn't going to work, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Mm. Here we go. Mmm, that's proper. Mm. That is And so my Auntie Jamelia would say, yabba yay! Oh, yabba yay to Auntie Jamelia. Oh, oh. That is brilliant. Mm. As you know, we're putting Auntie's recipe on the website. It's fantastic. IT.com slash Lorraine. Mm. After the break, Vanessa, Molly, Yuna, Frankie and Rochelle are all here. Catching up with the Saturdays. Beautiful girls talking new singles, <laughs> new arrivals, loads of things. See you in a couple of minutes. This is great. Mm. Mm.